This guy's a fascist. Does anyone know that? Oh. As if you can't make that shit up. What, you think, you're saying we made this up? Yeah, You're I saying am. that's a lie, we made it up. I know up. that because I didn't say that. Really? Thank we could get the officers so here. I'm not going to talk to this guy. You don't Thank have, you guys well, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk with you. Yeah. You'd good? like both of us to leave? Yes. Okay, let's both go. Welcome to the latest installment of Crowder Confronts. Now, our first choice on this channel is always civil discourse. When it's met with producer milkshakes to the face, however, sometimes we have to pivot. Meet a He's a member of Antifa who has a storied history of violence. He was arrested for assaulting police officers at an Antifa rally and threw tomatoes at President Trump, though it should come as no surprise that he missed by a mile. You play ball like a girl! Now, during our recent Change My Mind at Google headquarters in Austin, I took to Facebook posting our location publicly and calling for others to milkshake me. Quick recap, you may recall Professor from the last installment, he's the teacher who labeled me a Nazi and falsely spread a rumor about me threatening his child because he's a compulsive liar on the spectrum. Well, look who we found lurking in this serial libeler's social feed. He wants someone to light me on fire? We've escalated from chilled dairy products to third degree burns? Well, Mr. Call me your Mr. Heat Miser. They call me Heat Miser. Whatever I touch, it starts to melt in my clutch. <laughs> I'm too much. Hey, kid. Say what again? Say what again? Say what again? Say what again? Hey, how are you, man? Steven Crowder. What's going on? I don't, you know, I just had a question for you. I know that we disagree on things politically. I'm your heat miser, by the way. Uh, but why would you want to light me on fire? I never said that I wanted to light you. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. You were encouraging people to light me on fire. Ah. The old, it wasn't me excuse. Seems that we've heard this one before. Why would you threaten to firebomb my van or encourage other people to do it? At first, she just denied, denied, denied. No, she didn't! Do you think it's okay to threaten to slash someone's tires? Hey, I didn't do it. Was it like what you meant with killing members of ICE for $500 a pop? I mean, I don't recall saying that. We can discuss it at a neutral meeting place. I'm not discussing with people who have made threats against my son and whose followers have made threats against okay. my son. All right. I need to. Oh, that's right. Every single person we've confronted in the history of ever. Good thing we have hard evidence. Well, do you want to sit down and talk about it? How's it going? Do you want to sit down and talk about it? Why don't we just sit down and grab a seat? This guy's a fascist. Does anyone know that? Well, I'm not really a fascist because I don't encourage acts of violence. I want to be clear. I'm not encouraging any acts of violence here right now. Uh, quite the opposite. Do you really think that has a role in today's political discourse? Posting people's location, asking if they be lit on fire? I didn't, I didn't say that I wanted you to be lit on fire. Oh, you didn't post my location? I did, I you didn't do that and encourage people to milkshake me? Milkshake light on fire? Why don't we just sit and talk about it and maybe we can find some kind of a common ground? And I know, I mean, I know you have a long history of felonies and violent assault on police officers and so you've been seen sort of as a folk hero, some people on the left. But why do you, this is just a genuine question, why do you think that's acceptable to You're do? You're not going to get an interview out of me, man. I don't need to get an interview, I just want to know why you think that's acceptable to do. How do you not see yourself as a fascist when you encourage acts of violence? Yeah, so do you not see that as fascism? So we got Steven Crowder here and passed on Yeah, well, no, I just, he encouraged so people to light me on fire and posted my location. That. That's a, that's so that's I'm just trying to find out why you think that's okay to do. As so we can talk can't, about it with the officers. As if you can't make that shit up. Well, right. You think, you're saying we made this up? Yeah, You're saying that's a lie, we made it up. I know up. that because I didn't say that. Really? Yeah, you're, and now, and now I know you Who are you here to meet? I know yeah. I'm not a semi-attractive uh, Antifa I'm not going broad. to ask you again. Thank we could get the officers so here. I'm not going to talk to this guy. You know, Thank you guys well, so I'm, I'm going to talk with you. Yeah, no, 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 I, no, I'm no. just really curious no, no. as to why you think it's okay I'm not just by labeling somebody a fascist. You'd like both of us to leave? Yes. Okay, let's both go. Curious question. Does it make it okay to encourage people to commit violent felonies because you simply label them a fascist? What about me as fascist? Could you name me one thing that I've said or encouraged that would be fascist? Like, just one thing. Well, this is a good use of your time. Well, the only, it really wasn't. It was boring until you lied and said that it wasn't you. And we're going to be able to prove I that never, now. So everyone's, gonna know, that. so everyone's going to know not only that you encourage violence, but you're a coward not even to stand behind your own convictions I, of violence. You made that quota. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We didn't. We absolutely didn't. We'll prove it to millions yes, of people. Okay, what day? What, what did I say that? Right here. 12.41 p.m. And then posted our location. We were there in Austin encouraging people to milkshake us, which, you know, there's been a problem with concrete and milkshakes and acid. Yeah. So would you disavow any violence then? You would actively discourage people from committing acts of violence. Because if you didn't write that, I would assume you have a problem with it, right? Would you say that right now to the camera? Like, hey, listen, man, they got this wrong. 
I actively discourage any violence. I kind of hope someone does set you on fire now, if I'm being real. Do you really? Well, yeah. now you said it. Yeah. Do we fake that one, too? I fa yeah, yeah, yeah. You fake you, you didn't say this, so this is us editing it selectively? Yes. So you're just a violent, hateful person. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Is there, is it, does the word recidivism mean anything to you? Why do you justify violence against people you disagree with? It's genuine something I don't understand. And people like you don't sit down at the table on the show, you'd rather attack. So I never get to hear your opinion, right? I don't think you're you, actually you, interested in it. I'm interested in it right now. If you were now. actually interested in it, you would, you, would have, you would have arranged this to be, and you would have pretended that you are Stephen Crowder right. to arrange this. Do you mean like being yeah. out there in public could have changed my mind when you yeah. decided to encourage people to light me on fire and milkshake me instead of showing up like a man? That kind of thing? That, that kind of arrangement? At this point, you can set the record straight. Do you want to honestly declare your convictions that you encourage violence, or do you want to actively discourage violence? I don't have anything to say. Well, well I guess this is just because you're not behind a keyboard? No tomatoes? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, exactly. We can buy you tomatoes. I just, you know, I don't understand wh why you think it's okay to act this way and behave this way. We're both adults, right? I would never think of encouraging someone to light someone on fire, posting their I location. Didn't I didn't say that. Well, you just did right now. I never did you not say it right now? Okay, yeah. You, this like, isn't Michael Moore. We're not going to yeah, edit yeah. this out of context. I, did, I didn't say that on, um, like, you made that tweet up and then you said like why is it okay to say that? it's like, not well, a tweet hope, it's facebook and you did, you did oh okay. now i hope someone does so you originally said it didn't I say it, said it in the, in the, in because the you think place. i'm a fascist and I now you're saying you fascist. hope that someone lights me on fire because we I lied do. about you saying that you would light me on fire i do think you're a fascist how so like, i mean it, do, doesn't, it doesn't matter like do you know what fascism means can yeah, you define it for me go ahead Look, would, would, the, would, would the use of force, would the use of force to silence uh, right, dissenting you, opinions you be fascist? Is that you? What? Did you do this? Is this you? You want to stand? We, we made that up. You want to stand by that? Yeah. I, mean, I made I, that up. That's fake. I was tempted to milkshake you in there, and I just figured, like, a, being surrounded by all your friends, I'd probably get pummeled. So I just didn't. No one, no one. Listen, there's no violence here. No one here would step in, no matter what yeah, you did. I mean, no one here is looking. Around. We've deserve, never done it. You deserve to get milkshakes, though. Why? <laughs> yeah. Why? What? I had to change my mind when you post a location. Sitting down, we talked with people for hours. Yeah, you think we deserve to get milkshakes? Have, you're basically a bench of You don't debate with people and get paid. Well, thank you. That's very nice of you. Why wouldn't you say, hey, I wanted to talk with you right now, if, but I'm outnumbered. But milkshake to you is violence. It is violence. Okay, all right. And well, it's not by, to me, it's by the law. Then, then, it's violence. Yeah. It's battery. It's assault. You no, can't I'm do not, that. I'm not saying it's not illegal. I'm just saying, like, if that to you is violence, like, What's categorized you have a pretty comfy life, I as guess. illegal you know? because it's violent. You out. made your point that the left is violent because we throw milkshakes and you can make and encourage people to lie fire. on fire. No, no, we didn't yeah. make it up. You're a liar too. Okay. So right. here's the thing. Really I know you you fancy yourself a keyboard warrior, but now you're going to go down in history as a liar, not okay. willing to own your convictions, and that's yeah. a problem for me. Okay. Well, there are multiple questions which I know you haven't answered, but why is it okay to encourage violence? Okay for that to be your only recourse? Like here, you said you wanted a milkshake. Why is your first instinct to milkshake somebody? I mean, Why is your first instinct you, to throw you tomatoes don't, you to don't assault really a police officer? provide anything better for the discourse. So, like, well, who cares if I milkshake you? Kind of wish I had now, but it's all right. No, you haven't because you live your life as a coward. So the same thing happened right now, so you got, just so like you, you calling people you got before. Your cheap shots in, and this interview cheap went shots nowhere. In, we didn't have a conversation. Well, we didn't we, because you said that you wanted to milkshake me and commit acts of violence. Why don't we just call it good? Well, it's not good because you've yeah. called for violence against me and my team several times, man. Why do you think that's okay? Do you not expect there to ever be consequences to your actions? All right, well, I guess there's like, you, you imposed your own consequence, so now I know what to expect, you know? You, I mean, it's hardly a consequence. I mean, I know you've done time in prison. You'll probably do some more after never, we file I've the never report. Gone to prison. You went to jail, sorry, county jail. Drunk tank for throwing tomatoes and assaulting a police officer, and it's registered as a felony. So you can see why we'd be concerned if you well, encouraged people to light I, me on fire and milkshake. I tell you if I did? No, it doesn't matter. We'll have an overlay here. You do. That's what you do. Okay. You consistently encourage violence. That's all you do. What would be required for someone to have a differing opinion than yours and you to not encourage violence? So we know it's not sitting down with a change of my mind open to all in Austin, right? Couldn't have been more civil, completely unedited, the video's up. That warranted encouraging violence. How can someone disagree with you, express it publicly, and not face the ire of your calling for violence? What would be an acceptable way for a right-wing person or conservative to express their opinion? In worldview. Like, what would I need to do for you to not encourage people to light me on fire or milkshake me? I think a couple years down the line, you're probably going to change as a person. And I think you'll look back on this and understand 
why this was important to people. Because there have been a lot of folks out there who've had violence committed against them just because people like you label them a fascist to justify horrendous actions. So you don't want to talk, you don't want to show up at a change my mind table, that's fascist to you. Sitting down and discussing like two men, that's fascist to you. I know you've lied about it, apparently encouraging people to light someone on fire and milkshake them and posting their location publicly, encouraging violence. Simply to silence dissenting opinion, you don't see that as fascism? Do you not see that violence to silence opinion is fascism? You are the fascist. Do you get that? You're the Mussolini. You're the Pol Pot. What made you pick this coffee shop? I don't know, I heard it has good coffee. Is it good coffee? It's fine. Do you want to buy another coffee? No. I'll buy you a coffee, man. Now, oh, there you have it. Remember, kids, our first choice will always be civil discourse here on this channel. But if you cross over the line into calling for violence and physical harm to others, I will find you, I will confront you, and I will shame you. Say what it is. Enjoy this video? Of course you did, because you probably like to do this yourself to every Twitter egg who refers to your mother as a whore. But we were able to do it, so subscribe, hit the notification bell. There are other Crowder confronts in the boxes here that you can click. But more importantly, we had to get on a plane with the whole crew of people, travel across the country, get our sound equipment, get our... It's, it's very expensive to do, and we've been demonetized. So join up at loudearthcrowder.com slash mug club. You get the entire Blaze catalog, the full daily show not available on YouTube, and it ensures that things like Change My Mind, Undercover Videos, Crowder Confronts continue uh, to exist because... If you don't join Mug Club, they're just gone. And then you say, oh, where did it go? Well, I told you.